Hi, I'm Ryan from Ryan's Guitar Stuff, and today's video is a quick sum up of work I've done on the guitar. Um, so, uh, it's not the demo of the guitar today, but it is because I'm still waiting on parts. But it's the quick sum up of work that has been done to it. Um, so, yeah, so far, you can tell this is a bridge, okay? If you can't tell for what guitar it is, Mustang, Jag, and Jazzmaster style bridge. Um, if you've been on the channel, you know that I've gotten a Mustang before. And I've decided to relic it, so I'll throw pictures up on screen of close-in pictures of like the bridge and all that kind of stuff. But, so far, this is my Mustang. I'm not sure how well it will pick up on camera, but... It is quite relict at the current moment. Um, so stuff that's been done to it. Uh, for example, you can see the horns, uh, not horns, and um, kind of rashes here. And um, that's the timber. It's been fake oxidized, if you would, um, with vinegar and steel wool. Um, and the same on the neck, as you can see. Uh, what I used for the kind of fake oxidation on the neck and the kind of the armrest area here and the here uh, it's steel wool apple cider vinegar and let that seep for four days then to put a bit of um put a tea bag in it left that for half an hour then stained it and took the finish off the neck to apply because you need bare wood to apply it won't stain anything and um, it will but not to this extent as you can see on the back um, then put some oil on it. It's been sanded up to, I believe I got up to 800, no, 2000 grit, sorry. And yeah, it's really smooth and really fast. <coughs> then, as you can see, the hardware, I'm not sure how well it'll pick up on the back. The hardware is also oxidized. So, what happened here was I gave it to my friend who has hydrochloric acid for um, etching. And I let him etch the parts for me because I don't want to have a thing of hydrochloric acid lying about in my house. And he had it all ready for one of his projects. <coughs> so I get him 20 euros, I believe it was, and he did it for me. Um, knobs are basic knobs, sanded them down a bit with high grit paper, something like 800 to 1000 grit, and then rubbed in some shoe polish. Um, same on the pickguard. Pick guard, Top plastic layer has been peeled off, so it kind of has a dull finish to it now. Um, it's not like a high gloss that it was. And then rub some shoe polish in around the edge. And then all the dents are done with, like, oddly enough, screwdrivers, hammers, and fret tools. Um, more the snips. Um, I have a cheaper set of snips that I don't use on guitars. The more for general purpose around the house, kind of, if we need metal snips. Um, but some of the dents are that kind of stuff. Then just rubbed shoe polish into that, and yeah, I sanded the whole body down to. Well, it sanded up from two fifty up to a thousand. Then I skipped everything up to two thousand, because I didn't want a perfectly shiny shiny finish on it. But I wanted to try and level it out a bit more, so I skipped a few grits and went up to two thousand, and then high buffed it with Maguire's compound. With an angle grinder and a sponge pad, and yeah, it's turned out quite well. Um, yeah, um, you may see that there's no tuners on this. I've ordered a set of Goto Relic tuners, and they should be here in about a week or two. Then I also have a set of pickups coming from me from Allegri, which I'm really excited about. And the switches, um, I'm yet to decide. I have three sets of switches coming, um. I have, well, I have two sets coming, and then I have the originals, as you can see here. The ones I have coming are white ones, which are on-on switches, so they're like your Jazzmaster straight down, straight up kind of toggle switches. Um, I bought them by mistake, because I thought they were on-off-on switches, and I got them by mistake. I wasn't meant to get them. So last night I bought a set of um, on-off-on switches from all parts, and... Um, which were black ones. So I want to see how the white look or the black look in it. 
Um, these are Switchcraft, they're the original ones, but... So whoever owned this before me decided to clean them, but the way he cleaned them was not the best, and they started to corrode in some areas. And I'm generally thinking of not using these, because if there's corrosion on the outside, it might leads to me believing that there's corrosion on the inside as well. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, switches worked fine, but I don't know, just general idea of like if I'm changing parts I might as well and um, I have orange drop caps to go in this as well there are CTS pots in it at the moment and yeah it should be nice when it's done I'll do a full tone demo whenever the video whenever I get the pickups and yeah so yeah I've been Ryan for Ryan's guitar stuff and see you next time bye